Can we copy strike rage quit? That is the question. Can we? Is that so hard to do or not to do? Mental, mental questions, guys. Mental questions. I got this idea because of the issue that PewDiePie has gone through. And it's kind of the same thing with people on YouTube and with Nintendo. Or even Twitch, I believe. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. But YouTube. The people on YouTube, the content creators on YouTube are getting spammed day on and day off with copy sh copyrights. I almost said strikes. But with me, I'm literally risking myself of getting banned off of YouTube due to how long I play my games on the Nintendo Wii U to the point where I actually get spammed with video uh, copyrights day on and day off for a good 10 minutes after I'm done uploading. No joke. I don't know why, but there are times when somebody ends up playing Mario Maker and they're not teamed up with Nintendo and they get sh copyrights off the bonkers and I don't understand why with them they have like minimum of like maybe five and I get spammed with like 10 trillion different ones I have about 150 already the last time I spoke about this to you guys I had about maybe 105 and I'm already up to 150 no joke 150 copyrights in my email list Nintendo I would love to team up with you just so that I can actually get rid of those those are ridiculous. You need to, it's either you need to just drop the whole act, grow up, grow a pair, or become like Sony and Microsoft. The only time that they have the, the capabilities of giving somebody a copyright is due to an opening of a video game. Think about it. Think about it like this. Okay, Nintendo, think of it like this. Okay? Hold on. I'm not even talking about Nintendo themselves. Like, I I'm trying to say this to you guys and if, if Nintendo ends up whatever. But think of it like this. Okay? Kingdom Hearts, right? Square, en Square Enix. Every single time... I get a copyright they just block it worldwide that's it that's all they do they don't spam me they don't do nothing they give me one and if they don't like it they block my, my stream worldwide all because of a song but Nintendo on the other hand has to go all crazy and literally spam the shit out of people with copyrights saying please don't play this game or please don't pl play this music buddy it's a damn game it's music it's not like okay you have an opening of a video game that sings if you had that I wouldn't I could care less if you're spamming me but it's music. Yes, it might be retro music. It might be old music that you've had since the 90s. I understand. But you have so many fans that love Mario or Zelda 
or something like that, I understand. But you don't need to spam people. You really don't. If you want more money, let the people play. Just let them. Doesn't matter if there's music or not. If it was real life music like GTA 5, GTA 4, just the GTA series, I can understand that being a big issue. I really could. That's real fucking music. It's real. It, you can listen to it on the radio. You can listen to it on your phone and not have to get like a whole different version of it. That is real music. But why? Why do you have to be a complete douche and spam? If you're going to say you don't want them to play this on their stream, at least don't spam them. Just be like, hey, if you want, if you want to upload your your content, at least take away the music and block it worldwide so that they know that they need to take it down. Just don't spam. It's annoying as all hell. I had no problems with going with Unfair Mario for so long, and then I was I started to realize what am I doing after so many times of playing Mario Maker. I was so desperate of playing that game for so long. I legitimately was so excited to play the Wii U six months ago when I received. <laughs> When I received this, okay? I received this right here for Christmas. And I realized, oh, okay, I can now get on um, Mario Maker. I almost said Unfair Mario because I was thinking of that. But no, I got Mario Maker because I wanted to play this. So I could play it with my fans. Okay? I literally... My mother technically just wasted $200 because of a broken screen that I can't show because you guys literally put this right here inside the back of this. You put such small cords inside this that now I have to replace the inside to fix to receive another Wii U. That instead of having my mother pay a whole another one hundred dollars just to buy another one, so instead she bought this one right here, which was a hundred and fifty dollars for an entire set, and now I wasted my money. My technically my social security money, guys, my social security money for my birthday. To play this, okay, to play this for my fans, to play their levels for Mario Maker and have fun playing my old games I grew up on, on my channel to show that I love and I appreciate every detail on my channel. But I have to deal with a, lo a boatload of spam with copyright just to say I cannot play this. That's complete bullshit, Nintendo. I appreciated you for the past 21 years. And I wanted to show everybody so much stuff that they're missing out on. I'm not going to stop making streams with it. Hell no. Just because you're doing that, I'm not going to stop. But why, do, why does everybody have to be affected from bullshit? Yes, I might not be affected with strikes... 
right now, but what are you going to do later in the future? Are you just going to be like, okay, people are not going to stop, so you're going to wipe out the entire history of YouTube because of bullshit? Or are you going to grow up, grow up hair, and be like, okay, I guess we're not going to get any more money because I only have so much, so many people teaming up with me because they have a certain amount of subscribers just to say, okay, okay, now that they have 1,000 subscribers, they are going to get a lot of views. Subscribers are just a number, okay? Subscribers are just a number. I could care less about my subscribe subscriber list. I care about my subscribers, but I'm just saying so the subscribe so the subscription list is just a number that nobody cares about. Okay, yeah, I got 100,000 subscribers and I got a silver play button. Whatever. Think of it like this, okay? I have a minimum of one, uh, 255 subscribers, okay? Okay? You understand that? Uh, everybody? It just, are you on top of everything? I don't want to be like, okay, I have so much stuff. It's, it's considered a streamer for a reason, okay? It's a streamer reason, all right? Think of it like this. I was talking to my parents earlier about this. I'm trying to pull this up. I can't really use my computer because it's Apple. Apple is whatever. Think of it like this, all right? So, we have ourselves, the last thing I've streamed, which was on the PS4, all right? I have watch time as 35 minutes, and I have 38 views on it, okay? Technically, that's about a minute a person, all right? Ready? Now, check this out. This is a big difference. I have a huge passion for my channel, even though I'm so small, all right? I do my best to do what I do best. So we got views as 14 views, and somehow I managed to get almost 300 minutes of watch time out of 14 minutes when I had the last, the last thing I did ended up getting about 38 minutes and I had 36 views or the opposite I don't I technically that's saying that there are people out there that may get less views but almost gets almost three hours of watch time that you you just lost because I ended up going to Sony instead of Nintendo what what where's where's Nintendo in this whole scenario? You have let's just I'm I don't even I don't even mind if I do this as a shout out kind of thing. Let's just say this. Out of every single person I know that I subscribe to because I feel like they deserve it, I I, I know of the minimum of Dashy, Grand Pooh Bear. Um, let's see here. Grand Pooh Bear, Dashi, G, DGR, and maybe like two others. Ryukar, or however you say his name, but it's like Ryu. And a few others that people have told me about, but I completely forgot how to say them. But you have so many people yet, yet on your page. But what about the people that don't haven't subscribed to that person? How are you going to get that kind of content out to them? 
they're, what are you going to want? What do you want them to do? Just have everybody give a shout out to the people that, for that play Nintendo games? No. They do deserve it, yes. But what if they don't want them? What if they just want a specific person? You need to understand that there are people who appreciate you, try their best to do their to do their best to showcase your games. Okay? Think about it like this. Yes, you are family friendly. Great. We have a family friendly content creator fan base whatever. And we have Nintendo oh, not 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 Nintendo. Microsoft and Sony that technically sometimes team up. Think about it like this. You could have gotten Kingdom Hearts 3, a family friendly game that requires you to use a, a keyblade, like technically Link uses a sword, where K Sora uses a damn keyblade that you, you, that's a lot more family friendly than a damn sword. And you have Donald, Goofy, you have Mickey, you have um, Final Fantasy, where you guys, Nintendo, the Nintendo fan base had Final Fantasy in it. You could have had Disney stuff, where, yes, you had um, PewDiePie put a whole bunch of money to put his game... If you were to abbreviate the game, it's considered ass. That is not family friendly. And you call your guys yourself family friendly shit. Yes, you are family friendly. You do swords and blah 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 and fantasy shit. But where's where's this new setting of of Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts was only Sony. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? Check this out. Ready? Only on PlayStation. They're not just going only Sony anymore. They're going to Microsoft. They could have put it on your systems. But where but why aren't you guys doing anything? They put Sonic on you they legitimately put Sonic with you where's where's Mario Where, and Mario should have gone over to Sony yes it might be ridiculous that I said that but you had okay let's let's put out three different things that Sony has done for you they have given you Sonic they have given you Final Fantasy. They have given you... Um, I believe they've given you Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, they did. On the mic on the, the Microsoft, the Game Boy. The Game Boy Advance. Where, and I believe the last thing was Spyro. Because they, technically, there was one game that I re realized back in the day. That, um... On the Game Boy, yeah, the Game Boy. I'm, I'm trying to think of it as the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Micro. But it was a little tiny little cartridge about yay big. And if and there was a little glitch in the system where if you were to play Spyro, it would end up transitioning to Crash after a while. Like if you were to turn it off and turn it back on, it flipped back and forth. I don't know how it worked, but it was like a little glitch. It didn't work every time, but it worked majority of the time. But yeah, I don't I don't real remember if it was legit or not if they gave you crash. But I don't I don't have proof about that, but I know they gave you gave you Spyro cuz I played Spyro on both the PS1 and the GameCube. So, technically, the PS2 also had Spyro. 
why, why? They give they gave you so much, but yet you moved away from them. Now we have just Microsoft and Sony that does absolutely nothing against each other, and they don't do anything to, to us. But you have to be so insignificant to everybody, but the people who team up with you to do something like that. I would love to be like, oh, hey, guess what? I'm, I'm going to um, play the Wii U for the next 10 hours and not have to worry about anything. But no. You have to literally spam the entire way through my entire stream of Mario Maker with repeatedly the same fucking song all the way through because I played the same level song in a whole nother different level level even though it was the same song that literally is ridiculous let me be negotiable okay you don't I, I'm literally talking to my fans as well as Nintendo even though Nintendo doesn't probably won't watch this but I'm making it seem like I am all right I'm glad if you guys made it this long I'm about to end it don't worry I know I am at 21 minutes technically 22 but I just want to say this this is the negotiable part and this is very quick and simple if Nintendo were to literally make it so that they had it so that you didn't have to deal with spam the entire way through the stream or video I wouldn't care any less but knowing that think of this as we're watching the video or the stream or whatever from phase one sorry phase one all the way to the end every level that I do They've spammed me for every level. Doesn't matter if I played um, the retro regular Mario that's 8 pixels and you do the first level, right? Well, think of it like this. You have one level of that and then you have a whole different level that's the same creation. I get spammed for both. So think of it as a six hour stream. I get spammed with a video or a video copyright for every single level for that six hours. That's how bad it is. And that's ridiculous. But if it was for one copyright for every single song, not level, but song, I could care less all right but I'm I'm really glad if you guys made it this far I know I kind of complained for far too long and I repeated myself a few times but I really wanted to get that off my chest and one last thing this is, has nothing to do with my Nintendo or anything, but I just want to get this done because it's a quick thing. It's a little, 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 eenty weenty little update. Because I'm already far past what I wanted. But, guys, I'm officially opening up weekly once it hits full out summer. So, possibly next month, I am starting my second channel fully once a week on Thursday and possibly Tuesdays to kind of get my my second channel up and running so if you have if you have any ideas on anything you want me to play off of the PS4 or the PS3 specifically for that channel let me know in a stream or something just to kind of give me some ideas kind of change it up a little bit so I don't have to do it always on my channel this is gonna be our channel so good to know right
good to know. So, thank you so much for watching and listening to my bullshit. I really was getting sick and tired of holding this in. I really wanted to get it off, out of my head, off my chest. It was just really, really annoying. And Nintendo, I'm hoping you watch this. If you don't, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Especially when I'm going to give it as a Rage Quit AL versus Nintendo thing. But you guys are still amazing. I promise you, the deepest of my heart, I will never abandon you or abandon you or whatever the word is. I don't, as there's something I don't know how to say it. But I just wanted to tell you that it's just, you, are, you guys are going downhill for me. I, if you if you stuck with the switch as a handheld, I probably would have bought it. But knowing that it's a ridiculous amount of money for something that I wouldn't even play, besides one game. But either way, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I will be live soon. If you guys want to check it out, if you guys check this video out first before I go live. And I'll see you guys soon, all right? Or possibly in the next stream you see or join, all right? And Rage Quit, out.